Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is the day. Foot birthday is here and we finally get to open packs. We have been saving for the past couple of weeks because there's been nothing in packs to get, right? It's a very exciting day for all of us that have been saving packs. However many you have, best of luck if you're opening today for the start of the foot birthday promo. But with all of that, there is a ton of content and a ton of hype today and that's really going to impact the market as well. I want to look at how the market could be going up today in some areas but also going down on others and investments we might be able to make today and maybe when to buy a couple players for your team. We're going to fit all that in the video today. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. What I first want to do is actually take a quick look back at yesterday because yesterday I've never seen a market crash on one specific position on the market like we saw yesterday. Uh, basically, Ever. All goalkeepers, if you had a tradable goalkeeper in your team, it has probably lost a ton of value because all goalkeepers in this game are down bad after the Ederson SBC and corresponding objective. The last footballers card to be dropped as an SBC and of course the play to style objective here for Ederson. 99 reflexes, finesse shot trait, like what? Flare passes, swerve pass. This is just an insane card that so many people are going to be going after. A lot of people maybe using the SBC version right now, but then of course going after this um, upgraded version of the play to style objective. Absolutely craziness uh, in terms of the price drops that we saw on goalkeepers yesterday, right? And the reason why this is happening is because so many people are getting this card for free, right? That's the big deal. It's an objective card. Um, and that's what everybody is putting into their team and selling the goalkeeper card that they had because this is a Brazilian Premier League goalkeeper that just fits into so many people's teams or they're adjusting their team to fit this really cool card with, I mean, let's be honest, 99 reflexes is a really, really insane stat for a goalkeeper who's already pretty decent in FIFA anyway. So you look at these price drops down 40%, down 40% on Melier, down 40% on Donnarumma, 35% on Butland, Mike Mike Nan, goalkeepers, even Icon goalkeepers. Keepers. Vandersar down 30%, 420,000 coins. Crazy, crazy low prices on all these cards. Be careful with goalkeepers. I don't see them rebounding that well, at least in the immediate future. Some of them could go up over time because some of them are even fodder now. I picked up a couple Melier at 25,000 coins because, man, he was 57k a week ago, but now he's almost the same price as 88 rated fodder. So I would go out and pick up a couple of those cards. Even Team of the Year Courtois, like the best goalkeeper in this game almost as a Team of the Year card, uh, is down like crazy. 415,000 coins for him. So that was something that we, I haven't seen something like that in FIFA like ever with one specific position be being affected so much by one SBC and objective yesterday on FIFA. But we're going to move past that because big topic of today is still, of course, foot birthday. And these are going to be the cards coming into packs today. I'm going to do a quick rundown of all of the leaks and talk about what cards we expect to see and maybe just some information about them as well. We've looked at a lot of these already, but just a refresher. Cantona, first leak that we had, five star, five star today. Again, all of these cards will have a five star weak foot or five star skill move boost. Jarzinho, one of the most exciting cards people are looking forward to today. Rivaldo might not be a card we get in FIFA today. It might be sometime else during the weekend as an SBC. It's either Rivaldo today or Pedri as our SBC player. I'll talk about that in just a bit. Rui Costa getting a card today, of course. And then into the foot birthday players, Joao Felix. Darwin Nunez, right? A Premier League heavy promo team once again from the way the leaks look right now. Pushkas, right? One of the very expensive foot birthday icons probably coming out today. Bernardo Silva, another Premier League attacker a lot of people will be hyped for. George Best with five-star skills. Thomas Muller, maybe with five-star skills. Uh, Koke, hopefully some nice stat boosts on him. Zinchenko as a pretty interesting left back in the Premier League. Moving up to some newer ones, we've got Rush. We've got LaFont, right? Maybe a five-star skills. LaFont kind of reminding us of that Mandanda five-star skill goalkeeper. Always nice to get a French goalkeeper as well. Um, then you've got Emerson. This is a new leak as of yesterday. Emerson, Premier League right back. Kind of interesting. You get Spurs on the right. You get Arsenal on the left with Zinchenko and Emerson. But I'm hoping that Emerson gets five-star skills. That's one for me that I think is pretty cool. And he's going to carry a little bit of extra demand right now because of the Emer um the Ederson that was released yesterday, right? With those Brazil Premier League links there. You've got Jabril So as well. Always a 
FIFA card. This guy's probably going to be pretty cheap. Depending on the stats, of course, he could look really good and be super insane in game. But this is just a card that is kind of a FIFA legend, especially last year with his winter wild cards. He will be tough to link, but really OP in game most likely. One more icon we had leaked was Kuman, center back position. Well, again, a lot of these stats are predictions. That's the biggest part about today that we're interested in. How good are these stat boosts going to be? And the final leak that we have right now is Chukweze. And uh, the one interesting thing that I looked through a lot of these weeks that we don't know. Um, we don't know who's going to be an objective card. We don't know who is going to be uh, in packs, right? That is kind of unknown. And I still think there are going to be some foot birthday leaks today for maybe a few more players. I hope there's a couple more players. Um, Mateus is another icon that's leaked. Uh, the loading screen player right now is Marquinhos. So there are a couple more players that we do know of that we haven't, uh, I guess, looked at in the, the last uh, minute or two scrolling through these leaks. But I hope there's a few more players today. There's not a single Serie A player that has been leaked so far in foot birthday. So EA is really pushing towards the Premier League, as you can see with a lot of these leaks as well. That is very interesting, and we'll not note that and talk about that in terms of the market a little bit later. But again, it does come down to the boost today, guys, right? We talked about it with Joao Felix. We talked about it with Darwin Nunez. I hope they boost these cards up today, give them really nice, insane stat boost, and not just the five-star skills and the five star weak foot upgrade so that's a big part of today of course cards and packs now the SBC we talked about Pedri and we talked about Rivaldo in my opinion I think Pedri is going to be our SBC player today most often EA starts with a regular promo card not an icon on a Friday SBC release and this is going to be a hyped card because Pedri has got the five star four star team of the year honorable mentions card so we potentially be looking at maybe a five star five star Pedri drop today and if that is the case not saying it's going to be a guarantee but if it is the case that could be a very very hyped SBC that a lot of people would like to do and if the price is right and if the upgrade is good Barcelona links and this SBC in general will be so hyped that you will want to watch out for those cards on the market today. Of course, Pedri's special cards are already down in value, but Barcelona links aren't up too much in value right now because a lot of people have been using Premier League teams, especially with the Premier League focus that we have had going on recently. So watch out for that in SBCs today. And also, a lot of SBCs are expiring today. We've got a lot of those, you know, 82 times 20, 83 plus double upgrade. Prices on this fodder might spike up right before content as people are trying to do a couple of these packs to save them, especially the 83 double and the 82 times 20. But one SBC that's going to be refreshing today is the 87 plus base for FIFA World Cup hero player pick. I have not done it yet. For, so for those of you who have, you'll have an opportunity to do it for a second time again today. And that brings me to our first conversation about SBC fodder movements today. I want to talk about fodder right now. We're going to talk about it a little bit later too. I do believe that the low tier fodder on this game is going to drop a lot today. So if you still have 82s, 83s, 84s, I would look to get them out even before content today, even with this SBC refreshing, because there is going to be so much pack supply today. I would get those cards out. They're still up, right? Usually 84s are like low four, maybe 5,000 coins. They're starting to drop already. 83s are still 3.7. I would sell those cards because they will go lower today. Those are the most commonly packed cards on any promo Friday from upgrade packs, from store packs and all of that. Now, speaking of packs and supply, once again, we'll talk about fodder a little bit later. Today's a massive day for packs, right? As we talked about it, I know so many people that have saved up packs. It really feels like one of those promos, uh, not on the level of team of the year, but it's been so long since we have had a really crazy promo that people have wanted to stack up packs for. And well, here's another one. So on those promo Fridays, like today, where we have a lot of saved up packs, there are going to be tons of of new cards coming onto the market, tons of supply today, because when people open saved up packs, it's not just the untradeable ones, it's the tradable ones, and the first 15, 20, 30 minutes of promo today is gonna be just people ripping packs. And I'm excited to rip packs as well because foot birthday players are worth ripping packs for, but that is gonna cause some chaos on the market and it's going to mean these foot birthday players are probably come going to come onto the market pretty quickly and they might get undercut and could get really low early on so watch closely on the foot birthday cards today it's going to depend on the pack weight but these cards will be very in demand so if they start out really cheap today keep a close eye on maybe prices starting low and then going up after that on the cards that are in packs um, today and for the rest of the market since that first you know 30 minutes to an hour maybe just the 30 minutes will be focused on people opening their packs 
there might be a little bit of panic on the market. You could see a few cards actually dropping down, maybe some of the fantasy foot cards as people are going and opening packs and not thinking about, hey, what cards I want to buy for my team right now, or maybe people seeing like the Pedri SBC and they're like, okay, I'm going to go out and sell this so I can do Pedri, right? There's going to be some prices fluctuating in that first 30 min or minutes or so after all those packs are beginning to be open and foot birthdays around the game. But after that is where things should move pretty positively because with all of those packs being opened, yes, you do have a lot of supply coming onto the market, but what have we learned countless times from this same situation happening before? Prices on the most meta cards, prices that players uh, want to buy and use in their ultimate teams today will go up because you have a ton of people opening packs and that means a lot of people are going to be getting coins into their ultimate team accounts from selling cards right and specifically from quick selling right quick selling is where you gain the most coins to your coin balance straight away um, whereas when somebody buys your card off the market they're spending the coins and it's kind of a wash right so really keep an eye out for some of your really meta cards today right links to the SBC if it is Pedri and if he's good value but specifically some of those Premier League links right some Premier League links have already started to go up but since this promo is so heavily or this last promo is so heavily based around Premier League cards. I mean, look at Joao Cancelo's card yesterday from 440,000 coins up to almost 500k where he is now. The Manchester City and the Premier League links with all of these footballer cards uh, has got prices going up in that part of the market. And I think that could continue. And you should see a nice market bounce back tonight, at least for a couple hours after the content drop, because people are going to use those funds that they got from opening packs to maybe go do an SBC or so, but also to go buy cards cards for their team because again EA gifted us everybody in the game EA gifted the weekend league qualification points for a chance to play weekend league this weekend and that means extra demand for the weekend league and of course people are going to want to try out the brand new foot birthday cards try out the brand new footballers that they have been working towards this past week maybe a new SBC player so there's a lot of gameplay man today I do see a market that rises up and prices on the most meta cards rising up in the couple hours after the content dropped today. Now, of course, you know, if Pedri is dropped, you know, you might see a guy like Llorente go down a little bit first, but then go up. I'm not saying every single card is going to go up in price today. So if you want to buy somebody for your team, of course, you have to kind of, you know, know who is dropped in the game today, right? We're getting Felix, we're getting Nunez. So will the expensive Premier League strikers probably go up? Not that much because there's new cards out that people might want to try, but maybe cards that link to those brand new cards that are dropping on the game today. Like, I don't know, maybe say Premier League defenders or Premier League, um, you know, we've got two right back, a right back and a left back from the Premier League, but Premier League center backs could be a position to watch today because we don't have any new ones in the promo leaks as of right now. So that's the kind of stuff that I'll be looking out for today. And just, you guys know, the really meta cards in general that people like to use, fantasy cards because they're live, road to the finals because they're live as well. That's the sort of stuff I would be looking at today if you're purely trying to make coins. If you're trying to buy a card for your team, there might be a little bit of panic selling this morning as we head into the content drop. I'm not expecting um, a lot of it, if I'm being completely honest. But if you see prices that you like on a card that you've been wanting to buy and you don't care about any of the full birthdays that are dropping in the game today, then you know you have an opportunity to maybe buy that card at a slight dip in price today, either after content or before content as well. But that's kind of what I'm expecting for an overall market today. I don't know if the market rise is going to be sustained for forever. That also depends on the type of content we get today. If it drains a lot of coins because people will be opening uh, that hero player pick most likely, um, and there will be a lot of packs opened at the same time. So a lot of coins being put on the market, but also some taken off with the player pick like that. And if the Pedri SBC or whatever SBCs we get today are really good as well that could still drain some coins off of the market too. So I do expect a pretty nice rise on the market today. Now, if the foot birthday cards are like stupid cheap um, and then, you know, they're super packable at the same time as getting packed a lot, that could really, you know, wreak havoc on some market prices and it could drag some prices down of some cards if the new cards are really packable and super cheap as people would sell what they have to go and get one of the new ones. But I really don't see that happening. Foot birthday cards are usually not that packable, not, in ter not terribly packable. Uh, packable but like you're not impossible to pack but like not super easy as well and ea know that there's a lot of saved up packs for today so that's kind of what i'm thinking for the market now let's talk about fodder as well because i know a lot of you guys want to invest in fodder and there is a big opportunity to do so right now with the way prices 
look on this game. I know we talked about the low tier, right? We don't really want to invest in this. It's going to get supplied a lot today. 84s and below, be very careful. 85s, they could, of course, go up a little bit today with that hero player pick, but I think they're going to get supplied a lot as well. 86 is going to get supplied a decent amount. I know there's going to be a lot of packs open and that has people wanting to wait to invest in fodder. I invested in fodder yesterday, right around the content drop when everything was going crazy with the goalkeepers dropping in price and marquee matchups being released. You know, these 88 rated cards were about 27K. They went down to about 25, 24,000 coins. They're still pretty low. Fodder is still pretty low. But with the, you know, an SBC today, probably more SBCs coming out this weekend. You've got an Mbappe player of the month that is in this game right now that we know is very expensive, but people will still be doing it once foot birthday starts. Packs are being opened. Upgrade packs come out next week and swaps packs come out next week as well. Um, there is going to be demand for Mbappe, for Cruyff, other icons that are out. When EA drops, probably an icon upgrade SBC or player pick uh, in this upcoming weekend. I think there's a great investment opportunity on 87 and above rated fodder cards today. Now, there could be a great investment opportunity on the lower tier as well. That might not be until Saturday or maybe late tonight on Friday as these prices drop off as they should. But I'm looking first at the higher rated side of the market. Now, I've invested because I'm going to be opening a bunch of packs today. And I think these prices are low enough for me that I'm fine, right? I'm, I did a club stock and I put a lot on the transfer list, guys. I really did because because there's a lot of SBCs out and there's no real time frame for when these cards could rise except for in the next couple of weeks. So if you want to go all in and go unassigned and make a big investment, I think there's potential for that. 91 rated under 60K, 90 rated cards, 47K for 90s is actually really good. Look at the graph, guys. Like these guys don't really go below 50 that much and they spike to like 60K or to the mid 50s. So the fact that they're 47 right now, is a pretty good price in itself. 88s at 26,000 coins. Try to get 25, try to get 24. Today during the lightning rounds on bids will be incredible opportunities, right? Yesterday during marquee matchups on bids, there were incredible opportunities, right? It's just, it's gonna look like this probably on high rated fodder market today. Prices will dip a little bit, but not too much because today it's gonna be a great day to invest and a lot of people will be doing that. So I like the higher rated uh, fodder market the most. And again, I don't know when exactly we'll sell that. It could be as soon as Saturday or Sunday. If there's an insane SBC that is dropped, it might be next week or even in two weeks as a lot more SBCs come out and the fodder prices just gradually go up if that's the way the content goes. But I wanted to point that out to you guys because I'm very interested to see where that goes. And then speaking of swaps, we do not have yet a leak for the swaps rewards. Uh, We've had six tokens released, I believe. Yesterday, our token was inside of marquee matchups in the first segment here of the, um, uh, what was it? Denmark and Finland um, international uh, matchup. And this is token number six. Now we probably will get leaks, I'm assuming today about the rewards. Um, and that could impact the market a little bit, but really those leaks are gonna show us how good this swaps program is gonna be, how much people wanna grind for it and how much fodder will be available from it, right? We've had those other packs added to the code. Again, just to kind of take a look at these and just you know mention these for a second here. Cantona, this is probably gonna be in moments. The foot birthday token pack, probably in moments today. Then there's these other fodder packs. We're not entirely sure where they're gonna be put out. So maybe we'll get our answer with that. And then guys like Ronaldinho, right? We, we talked about that early in the week. Are we going to see a Ronaldinho SBC? No news about that. Or not an SBC, but a card in swaps. So we should be getting a lot of news and information today about foot birthday swaps, which could create some more market panic as well. Now, there's not a lot of pack code today. And unless there is something updated before content, I'm not necessarily expecting a store pack um, unless EA were to release that same store pack that was the 90,000 coin one they dropped earlier in the week. I opened it, so I don't remember when it's going to expire. But if they re-release that one, then we could have a store pack today. Um, and then other than that, we only have this foot birthday refresh pack. So that's kind of all that we have right now for the store pack leaks and for what's going on with that part of the game. But guys, I really think the market's going to be a super duper interesting place today. Um, I'm probably going to watch a lot of Premier League cards. I'm going to watch a lot of your most meta cards. Guys like Isak, I know we're getting Darwin Nunez and we're getting Joao Felix today. Uh, so be careful with a guy like Isak. Uh, Al Wayren's a bit low. He could be going up. Saliba is up, but I understand why, right? You've got a lot of um, Premier League hype right now. Where's Ledley King, right? Uh, one of the only Premier League center backs that's a hero. 
370,000 coins, but it makes sense, right? There's so much hype for Premier League links right now. That's where if you see panic selling today, I would be looking to trade in that side of the market. And uh, I still I still maintain my stance that some of your higher tier icons today. Oh my gosh, VVD got super duper rare here. This is a rarity spike. Um, he's never 1.7 million coins. But some of your really expensive cards today like Pele um, and other really expensive icons, team of the year attackers could take a bit of a dip. Um, with the new icons coming out. And uh, of course, like Pushkas is getting a new icon card today. That means this card will probably be out of packs. I could see guys like mid prime Pushkas, maybe even baby Pushkas, having a really big price um, fluctuations and bounces today. Um, I mean, if you get this card close to 1.4 million coins flat, that's a really, really good price. Some of these guys that are getting very expensive new icon cards today are probably going to end up going back up in value. Um, because the new foot birthday card is going to be crazy, crazy expensive. So that's something to watch out for if you're on a high budget and you're looking for that today on this game. But it's going to be such a fun day today because I hope we all get to pack some foot birthday cards and I hope EA make it fun for us. They usually do a good job on a promo Friday for foot birthday because it is their birthday. They do a good job of celebrating. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and I'll see you in the Twitch stream today. Oh, subscribe if you're new, if you did not do that yet. But I'll see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nathan Wood Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.